Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Going to be giving you my predictions for Manchester United's game against Bournemouth at Old Trafford. So I'm going to go for a Manchester United win and the score I'm going to go for 3-0. The goal scorers I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford. I think he'll get two tonight. And the other goal scorer, I'm going to go with Anthony Martial. So that is your predictions. On another video, I'll be giving you my predicted 11 for this game. Now, the last time Manchester United played Bournemouth, at Old Trafford, Manchester United won by five goals to two. That was back in 2020. <clears throat> uh, Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 1-0 win against Wolves at Molyneux. Reflecting on the win against Wolves, it moved Manchester United into the top four. Uh, Marcus Rashford came off the bench and scored the winner against Wolves after being dropped because of disciplinary reasons. Uh, it was a good finish by Rashford. Um, it was a lovely one-two with Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Rashford also had a goal ruled out in the game for handball. Uh, Marcus Rashford uh, did score in the 3-0 win against Nottingham Forest. He also got an assist in that game and he scored in the 2-0 win against Burnley in the Carabao Cup. It was a wonderful solo goal. He's in scintillating form at the moment. This is probably the best season he's enjoying as a United player, because the last two seasons he's been poor. Man United, not so long ago, extended Rashford's contract by one year. Uh, by the way, uh, Lissandro Martinez is back for tonight's game, because he has been unavailable. Uh, Diego Delo, um, I'm not too sure about him. Um, I think he's still out with injury. So obviously, Anwan Basaka will play at right back. Tuan Zebe is still injured, but he doesn't get in the team anyway. And Jaden Sancho hasn't played for a while due to lack of fitness. Uh, Scott but Tommy Nay, you know, he's obviously been out with illness. Bournemouth, they recently lost at home to Crystal Palace 2-0. They're in very bad form at Bournemouth. Like I've said to you, I do know some of the players that Bournemouth have got. Uh, junior Stanislas, he's out with injury at the moment. David Brooks, <clears throat> he's out with injury at the moment. Bournemouth got David Brooks from Sheffield United. Jamal Lowe, he's an attacking player. Ryan Christie. Jaden Anthony. Dominic Solanke is another attacking player. James Hill, Lewis Cook, Philip Billing. Uh, Philip Billing is out with injury at the moment. Neto, um, he's one of the goalkeepers Bournemouth have got. Um, he's also been out with injury. Uh, Jefferson Lerma, Bournemouth have him. So they are quite a lot of the players that Bournemouth do have. The Bournemouth manager is Gary O'Neill. 
Don't forget, he got appointed in as the Bournemouth head coach on a permanent basis after his interim role. He's been the Bournemouth manager for a good five months or so. He got appointed in as the Bournemouth manager in August last year. He did sign an 18-month contract with an option of a further 12 months when he got given the job on a permanent basis. Before, Bournemouth had Eddie Howe and he was the Bournemouth manager for several years. Eddie Howe of now, now he's course the Newcastle manager and he's doing a good job. Uh, Bournemouth have really struggled, you know, since the loss of the likes of Callum Wilson and Ryan Fraser. Of course, they're both at Newcastle. Bournemouth also lost Joshua King. And don't forget, a long time ago, he was in Manchester United's academy. Manchester United's next game after Bournemouth is... Everton in the FA Cup, then it's Charlton in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Um, of course, you know the news regarding the transfers. I give you the news on Frankie Dion yesterday. It said Frankie Dion has told Eric Tenag that he does want to join Manchester United. The other week it said Frankie Dion is still a target for Eric Ten Hag. Revert back to the vast majority of last year, Man United were trying to get Frankie Dion because he was our number one target, but Man United decided to get Casemiro and Christine Eriksen instead. You know, Eric Ten Hag is keen on a reunion with Frankie Dion. Because obviously Eric Ten Hag worked with Frankie Dion when he was at Ajax. Frankie Dion has been at Barcelona since 2019. He's under contract with Barcelona till 2026. Barcelona got him from Ajax for around £65 million. Pounds. Um, as you all know, Manchester United missed out on Cody Gakpo. Liverpool signed him. Man United should have signed him because not so long ago, Man United were in pole position. There's still a lot of narratives coming out about Joao Felix. Uh, you know the news regarding Martin Dubravka. Uh, Newcastle United recalled goalkeeper Martin Dubravka from his loan spell at Manchester United. Dubravka only made two appearances under Eric Ten Hag and they both came in the Carabao Cup. Obviously Dubravka was second choice to De Gea. So really, we should have kept Dubravka as a backup until the end of the season. But now, obviously, with Dubravka going back to Newcastle, Tommy and will now be Man United's backup keeper to De Gea. But Dubravka, you know, joined Newcastle back in 2018 and he's made 130 appearances. But yeah, as you all know, the January transfer window is open. This is Eric Ten Hag's second transfer window as Man United manager and I'm hoping that he does receive very good backing. You know, Ten Hag got back to well in the summer of last year. You know, Ten Hag got six signings. You know, he got Terrell Malassia, Christine Eriksen, Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro, Anthony and he brought the Brav Crane. Eric Ten Hag has spent over £200 million so far as Manchester United manager. Ten Hag admits Man United need to sign a forward this month. We need to obviously replace Ronaldo. 
Uh, Eric Tenag, you know, he's going to get rid of, you know, players this month. You know, players will leave the club as well at the end of the season. You know, this year, you know, Tenag will get rid of Telez permanently. He'll get rid of Eric Bailly permanently. He'll get rid of Phil Jones. Um, I think Maguire will leave. I'm hearing now, though, Maguire and McTominay could be staying at Man United, even though they're not first choice. And Wan Bissaka will probably probably leave as well. He's not our first choice right back. Like I've said, he's only been playing because Diego Delors being unavailable. Henderson, he'll go permanently at the end of the season, I'd say. Uh, Ten Hag will get rid of Fred, I'd say, because he said last year he's decided to sell Fred. Uh, Tom Eaton, I think he will go as well at the end of the season. Uh, Sancho, could he possibly leave, you know, at the end of the season or next season? Because Sancho hasn't played for a while due to lack of fitness, like I've mentioned. And you've got a lot of winners at United. You've got Rashford, Ganacho, Anthony, Alanga. So how's Jaden Sancho going to get in there? So there you go. But, you know, we have seen a lot of players leave. You know, players left last year. <coughs> so, yeah. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop me comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.